Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. Uh, we'll discuss one more transformation in this session, in this class. So, uh, we have uh, group by uh, group by clauses in database SQL. So we suppose we write select uh, department ID comma sum of salary from employees where uh, from employees group by department id so basically in one department id if we have uh, n number of employees it will sum up the salary of all those employees and uh, give per department id what is the salary so we will get the output as department uh, id here sum of salary and uh, it could be it could look like uh, department 10 has a salary of 1000 department 20 has a salary of 1100 and all that so how do we do the same thing in uh, database uh, in informatica so let's see that in this class uh, let me go to informatica so i'll create a mapping called m emp m employees agg for aggregator and i'll pull employee source into this and my target is uh, i want to have a target uh, which is a uh, flat file uh, or a table with uh, only two columns uh, department ID and uh, salary average it could be average salary it could be uh, a sum of salary for the department so uh, I can I can actually have only a flat file so I'll create so far we have been importing uh, from database the sources and target so let me create one uh, flat file here now ff underscore uh, dept aggregated data so i have uh, here uh, department id dept id which is decimal of four int of four integer four and one more uh, port i will add called salary which is decimal or uh, double or number number of six comma two i believe so six comma two so let me confirm that with uh, employees salary port uh, data type eight comma two so let me change uh, this as well to eight comma two uh, so my target is ready now let me pull the target into uh, this mapping so uh, how do I uh, get these two? It, this salary could be some uh, of all the salaries of all the employees in the department or average salary of all the employees in the department. So we'll see both uh, cases. So for this, I need to create a transformation called aggregator agg underscore dept salary. I will connect uh, department ID and uh, salary to this as input ports and i'll uh, this is uh, these two are input ports and i'll add one more port called uh, after grouping the what is the salary output it could be uh, any group function like uh, sum or uh, average so i need to select decimal 8 comma 2 here and uh, this is an output port only so uh, let me uh, see what functions are available here in under aggregate. So I'll first take sum of salary validate. So what do I group by? I need to group by department ID. So this is my group by port. I'll leave all other properties as is and connect this department ID to okay this department id also is both input and output port so i'll connect this to this department id and uh, this group salary to the salary let me save this and create a workflow for this wf underscore employees agg yes underscore employees aggregate so let me check connect these two fail parent of the task fails right backward compatible option and uh, source is hr target is a flat file save session log for five runs and uh, stop on errors as one and in the mapping i'll say dollar source here and the targets i'll say 
the name of the flat file is ff uh, department agg one dot out that's fine i will leave it like that set file properties i want to set uh, the delimiter as comma is fine for now so i'll leave it as default i'll save this and run this so let's see in the workflow monitor what is the progress of this so this card completed and only 12 records came uh, let, let's let look at the target files now directory target files directory and let me open this and check so only 12 records department number 10 with 4400 20 with 19,000 30 with 24,000 and all that so let me uh, query the same do the same query in the database and see how the results are department ID comma sum of salary from HR dot employees group by department ID. So we will see here if I order by department ID, we can see here department number 10 has 4420 has 19,000. So exactly the same uh, results we got uh, here as well uh, in the flat file. So this is equivalent to the group by uh, in database. So uh, we have done the sum let's do the average uh, this time so I simply come here and change uh, remove this sum and uh, select one more port which is uh, aggregate function AVG salary and uh, validate so let's see uh, let, let me refresh the mapping and run this again and see how the flat file looks like this time so so this has completed again it loaded uh, 12 records uh, let me check how those 12 records look like this time so this time department 10 has 4420 has 9500 and so on so let me check here uh, by doing the same avg function and see how the results look like i'll sort by department id so yeah you can see results are exactly matching 30 has 4150 and 30 has 4150 so one thing you have to observe is here uh, the department id is getting sorted uh, while loading into the flat file even though we have not specified anywhere whereas here uh, 100 department is coming first so i uh, am sorting it after uh, the results have come so that is the difference between database segregation and uh, informatica aggregation aggregated transformation so in the next class we will see some more variations of this transformation thank you